in there, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I, I got a little boo-boo. <laughs> this is a uh, fireplace sculpture. It's going to replace the those ugly concrete logs, you know, in a gas fireplace. And this is going to kind of look like that. It's got a lot of work yet. And that one's going to work up inside there also. So it's going to have, you know, these three legs, you know, these three dimensional pieces on there. And it'll kind of look like a swirl. It'll look like a little fire tornado. So get rid of the gas logs. Get rid of that big burner. Make my own burner to go underneath just this portion. And then what I found works really great is uh, tempered glass. So go to like an auto store, auto glass store, and you can get tempered glass out of their trash can. And then you just fill the whole bottom of your fireplace with that. And then it reflects the flame. You know, and it sits there and sparkles and dances and, you know, and it looks really, really neat. But what I've got is when I rolled this piece around to get that shape there, I wound up with a little bump inside here. So I've got a little divot right there. And I need to be able to pound that divot down to get it to even up down here so I can come along and weld it. And then just grind smooth and be done with it. But that little hammer, you know, it's my little detail hammer. You know, it's got a little tiny head. It's got a point on one end for, you know, picking on things, getting in a little, in a little tiny spot and working it just a little. But this is eighth inch plate. So that little hammer is not going to do it. But I got a hammer that will. So now this is a hammer. <laughs> it's an air powered. Some guys call it an air chisel because you can put a chisel point in here for cutting metal. Uh, some guys call it an air hammer, you know. But for me, I put this little flat end in it. You know, it's an end that fits, that works with this gun. It's for pounding. It's for like driving out bushings. It's for uh, driving out stuck bolts, you know. It comes from the automotive industry. You know, that, that's where I ran into it, was working on cars. But what I found is this, especially this gun, this hammer hits really, really hard compared to some of the other ones, some of the cheaper ones. It, it's from the big red truck. It was from Snap-on. But this guy works just great for reaching down inside there. Because I can go right up against the anvil. I got plenty of air power behind me. And I can just sit there and just drive that right down in. Quick, easy, simple. It makes life a lot easier, believe me. So, so this is the little area right here that I want to work on. You can see here's my side. This is the outside edge. And here's the bottom. But I've got this little dip in it right here. So I can go to the inside. And here's the raised edge. Here's the bump right here I want to work on. And I can just put my anvil right underneath it. Come in with my hammer. Take that thing down. I've even used this on like big sculptures where I'd have a little dent from the outside in. But rather than having to reach up there with a hammer and try to find it and pound it out, as long as I've got enough room for this length, I can work this up inside, feel it around, you know, finally find that little bump in the dent right there, get it right on the end of the hammer, and put my dolly on the outside, zap, 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 and just work that dent right back out again, rather than trying to pound on it. So let me put my ears on, and I'll hook up the hose, and we'll pound on this a minute, and I'll show you how easy this works. It almost got it all. I got one little boo-boo right there. So I'll come back and just hammer it just a little more. I might even break out the, you know, the big hammer. <laughs> and it did a pretty good job inside. Luckily, that'll all be hidden when I put the skin on it anyways. But it's close enough I can go in now and just weld it. You know, weld it, you know, tack it on the inside, weld it on the outside. And then once I get it all welded on the outside, you know, then I can just come along and grind it smooth. And Move on, we'll be done. So get this part welded and then make my side for the other half, you know, for the inside edge of the curve and do the same thing. Fit it, shape it, bend it, you know, beat on it a little and work it all together. 
it'll come together. It's slow, but it'll come together. It'll look pretty cool when it's done. So a nice little tool. You know, something to add to your toolbox. You can get different lengths on these. You can get different diameters. You know, it gives you the ability to reach down in a hole, get down in a corner or something. Uh, you can get a, a point. You want to like dig, you know, dig a hole. You want to punch through something with it. You can get a chisel for it, like a regular cold chisel for like you know, ripping off uh, spot welds or something. You can even get a pipe splitter for it. And it, it's a weird thing. It, it's got you know, two teeth up, one tooth down, and you kind of get into a piece of pipe with it. And boy, you get a nice little curl that comes off that thing, and you can cut a piece of sheet metal, you know, a big piece of plate or something with it. Not too thick, but boy, you can cut sheet metal with it really, really quick and easy. So if you got a big enough compressor, you need about a 60 gallon or so to have enough volume to run it. But you got one of those, you're good to go. Go find one of these and add it to your tools and get some more work done a lot quicker. Just make sure you have headphones and safety glasses. So pick one up if you want it. Oh, pick something up. Pick up something else for me, would you? Reach right down there to that subscribe button and click on that puppy for you and put me on your list. So I'm going to go back to work. I'll see you all next time. You bastard.